Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Shaving with Rich. Today we are going to be having a speed shave with none other than the one blade. So <clears throat> I'm looking forward to that, having this shave. We're going to be using uh, some soap by New Artisan, Jenny Peck, from the Artisan Soap Shop, Sandalwood. So for any of you guys that enjoy sandalwood scents, you may try this one out. Um, as far as the product goes, I've done a little bit of testing on it, and I've found that it does best if you load it heavy. Um, especially if you want to bowl lather, make sure you load it heavy. Um, today I'm going to do a face lather, and uh, we'll get straight to it. So, really been looking forward to this shave, and I've been soaking a Smog 820 bore brush. I think that'll help me load it uh, pretty heavy. So, it does uh, build lather pretty good, even just on the, the load, and it has pretty good performance from what I've um, interacted with the soap. All right, so we've got a lot loaded up in there. Gonna uh, wet the face, and then I, this is like almost pasty, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water right to the tips before I even start to face lather it. And then you guys will see what kind of lather I can get. And uh, judge for yourself. What a, you know, my rule of thumb with new soaps is always is uh, try one out if you're interested or if they seem like something you might want to try. If you like it, great. Order more. <laughs> if not, you're only out one soap. Uh, that's how I did uh, Sterling soap turned out to be a, a good thing for me and so I bought more uh, my first sterling soap was uh, orange chill and I loved it so same rule of thumb try one um, and just see how it works for you It's always nice to see uh, how other people experience a product before before you actually buy it. But with that being said, there's nothing like just trying it yourself, um, because of course you're gonna have different practices and different variables than somebody else. And uh, as they say, your my mileage may vary. So someone else's mileage may be may vary from from your own. So I always recommend if you have an interest in a product, just try try one of them out and go from there. So we're going to be using the one blade. Um, for somewhat of a speed shave, this is the third use of the feather blade inside. Um, and let's just see how it goes. Um, the soap right now does feel uh, pretty slick. So you can find Jenny's products on Etsy um, if you're interested in taking a look. The Artisan Soap Shop. And she's new to the community. 
which is good. It means the community is growing, and I always like to see that. I actually had a little bit of uh, irritation, a little bit of uh, skin issues going on right here before the shave, so don't confuse that with the soap or with the blade or the shave or anything like that. And then, of course, this right here, <laughs> well... That's it was just putting me back in my place. You know, once in a while we all need a reminder. So I was heading to work and I was running a little bit late, but I still wanted a, a shave. And I'd been missing my shavettes and straight razors. So I decided to grab my, not my straight, but my shavette. Brand new sharp blade in it. And uh, <laughs> I was speed shaving with the shavette. Need I say more? And, uh, you know, of course I was very confident when I was shaving, uh, speed shaving, because uh, I didn't really haven't cut myself much with, with that. But uh, it proved differently. It gave me a little bit of a wake-up call, like, hey, Rich, respect still, as uh, Hunter Green would say. <laughs> so... Eh, you know how. It's just... None of us are immune to a bad shave once in a while, and it's usually user error. Our own stupidity. <laughs> so there's actually, uh plenty of slickness with the salt but if I was in a hurry I shouldn't have picked up the chevette <laughs> even though I am pretty confident when I shave with one even still I should have picked this up this is what you use if you're in a hurry and need to get a good close shave and get it quick. Shaving like this with a feather, I mean. <laughs> they must have done something right. Alright, let's get this third pass going. Feels good. Not perfect yet, but it's getting there. It will be there very soon. Definitely need to add a little bit more water. I always just like to pull right from the brush especially on the later passes let you have extra in your hand so when you're doing your cleanup and stuff this is only like my third shave period with this blade uh, with this razor and blade um, But there's not too steep of a learning curve with this razor. There 
we go. <laughs> so I was able to get a good shave in not too long a time. I was able to move pretty quickly. The soap helped assist that. And uh, yeah, it's right there. No nicks, no cuts, anything like that. All right, guys. One other product that uh, Jenny has as well. That is uh, the aftershave moisturizer. So I'm actually gonna try that as well. So first impressions feels pretty good on the skin. Seems to be going right in, like absorbing pretty quickly. Just kind of leaving a good feeling on the skin for sure. All right. So I would recommend for any of you guys that uh, look into getting some of her product, if you do buy soap. I'd recommend trying this as well. Uh, for sure, don't don't pass up on the post, the post shave or the after shave moisturizer. I think that it's something that you'd want to try. My skin already feels like probably a hundred percent better. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again next time. Take care. As always, thanks for watching, and if you want to be notified when my videos come out, just click the bell next to the subscription. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.